It also calls him, besides calling him Isa ibn Maryam, it calls him Isa al-Masih in Arabic as well as in the language of the Torah. The word Masih means that which is anointed. But why this special touch or anointing? It was to indicate to mankind that there will be someone who is prophesied from the very beginning, even from the Garden of Eden. When Allah said to uh, Adam and Hawa, I will allow someone to come from the posterity of the woman who will defeat Satan, a shaitan. And this someone who will come became essentially a promised individual that was set apart and was revealed time and again as the specially anointed one. The prophets that came, all of them spoke of this Messiah who was to come. And in order that it would not be a confused issue, time and again, the prophets gave details of that individual as to eliminate all confusion. For example, even where he would be born, what he would do, what he would say, what would happen with him. And that's why the Quran acknowledges this also. It says, Isa ibn Maryam, al-Masih. He is the Messiah promised through all the prophecies. Notice that his name is not simply Masih. His name is Isa al-Masih. And this is significant because of the fact that this is the title which was given to him not only prophetically before his birth, but even Jibril, when he spoke to his mother, Maryam, did say in the Injil, he will be named Isa al-Masih. Why? Because the two words express this mercy from Allah, which was to come to mankind. And the word Isa simply means one who saves. That is the transliteration of a word such as Jesus uh, in English today. Uh, some in the Arabic, uh, more modern Arabic would might say Yeshua. But the point is that Isa means one who saves. And Masih means one who is anointed. So he is anointed, chosen by Allah to save. Well, to save us from what? To save us from our failings. To save us from our problems and our defeats. To bring us into a place of mercy and reconciliation with Allah. It is significant that this title was chosen by Allah for him to indicate what his mission would be, just as it was with Hadrat Ibrahim, that he would be one who would father a nation, as it was with Adam, Adam as being the first man, and others who have had a special title, even the name Musa, as one who was uh, drawn out of the water, and so, in the same sense, Allah has allowed this title to be bestowed upon Isa ibn Maryam to express what his mission is, that of reconciling us with Allah. For Isa means he who saves, huwa al-khalas, that is the savior, and huwa al-masih, that is the one who is anointed by Allah for that purpose.